how to make money with alibaba.com for beginners hi there you guys if you're looking forward to make money on alibaba then you hit the right video so first step to understand oh uh, yeah first step to know before you can make money here on alibaba is to actually know what alibaba is and how it works so alibaba is china's and by some measures the world's biggest online commerce company and its three main sites including taobao tmall and alibaba.com have hundreds of millions of users and host millions of merchants and businesses and alibaba handles more businesses than any other e-commerce company well we have seen the growth of china within the past decade when it comes to um production exports and stuff like that and we believe that um not because it's it's from china it means that they they offer like bad quality products but not at all you guys the market uh, ha, um is really competitive and uh, china is not really playing when it comes to the things that they sell so one example of this is that um uh yeah yeah stuff like uh you can actually buy in bulk like you know um what else uh, phone cases and what else um, you also have instant hot pot. Um, what else? You you also have um, clothes. You also, yeah, t-shirts and stuff like that. They sell it in bulk. You can actually buy it for cheap. And as you can see here, they also have options for drop shipping, right? So um, uh, once you have understood what Alibaba is and how it works when it comes to integrating it with different sites with different e-commerce platforms such as Shopify you would want the next step is you'd want to identify your winning niche so what I mean by that is of course try to identify a need that you need to infiltrate and focus around that need like for example based on your experience maybe you went on barbecuing with your dad or your friends or family and then um you experienced inconveniences when you when you like uh, uh yeah when you were doing the barbecue so you think that a grill mat is a need because you know it's uh, uh it's the holidays and it's almost summer and people are going to be like barbecuing on their backyards so that's why you think a lot of people will actually look for grill mats so the thing with grill mats is that of course they actually sell for like 19 to 30 dollars right but here in alibaba when you actually go ahead and type in grill mats right over here you can see that um the uh the the price per piece is actually really cheap when you uh, buy in bulk like for example this one um it's for 0.20 dollars to 0.55 a piece now it depends on how large is it the size and maybe like the material it's made of but mostly grill mats are made of the same material so that's why you can search and look for the best offer right here and uh, aside from that you can then um, check out you can also go to aliexpress.com and then from that you can check uh, the, what's the trending products right here top selection so these are the top selling products uh, on Alibaba and you don't you don't have to do the research yourself you can almost you can immediately see here what are like the trending products one way for you to do that is to just you know um, browse here on the on their home page and you can see um, yeah, the top selection part right over here or you can uh, do that right over here you can categorize them based on uh, uh, these factors and then after that once you uh, once you searched uh, one category like for, like for example home pet and uh, uh, yeah yeah pet let's check out pet products and then you're gonna want to check out yeah which uh, which which pet products are like selling fast and you can check this sale and then you can now see here which products are on sale, right? But you want to uh, check out which products are selling fast. You can see, um, be, uh, aside from that, guys, you can also see here other uh, categories, subcategories under pet products. But basically, you can now uh, sort the viewing uh, method right here. And you can categorize uh, by, by best match or you can click this and if you want to change how you sort it out you can do so you can also sort it out by price orders uh so now you know uh which uh, products has uh, or got like the best orders so far you can untick this or yeah the most orders so far and now you can see here um this product sold for like 18,325 pieces so you can see here that when it comes to pet products, these are the ones that are top selling. So now you've identified your winning 
niche. All right. So another way that I find to be useful is like I check out um, Amazon. So what I do here is that identify what others are doing wrong, like for example, and then I try to like fill in that gap because, you know, um, I, I, I believe that there is always something that's uh, needed to be filled. So for example, when you search grill mats over here and you you basically want to read the reviews, right? So like, for example, let's click this one. It's selling for $19 over here on Amazon. Imagine you can only buy this for like a pop, uh, less than a dollar a piece when you buy it from Alibaba Express and imagine the profit margin about that. So now what I do is that I go down and... Uh, I try to read the reviews about these products and then see, like, not really expect negative comments, but actually find negative comments if there are. And then I just basically try to um, um, take that with me. Like, for example, this one here. Uh, like, uh, the reviews, I look for the ones that are, like, maybe th two, three, uh, three star. Uh, couldn't believe that this would not melt on barbecue, but it didn't. Used for hamburgers, kept grilled clean, but the meat was a little greasy as the fat didn't drip off. We'll try chicken next. Maybe it will li be nice and juicy. Overall, a surprising product, but don't think I will use for a steak. I like that charbroiled taste. All right, so now I've identified like um, a gap here. So this uh, person doesn't really want um, the, the oil to not drip, and she she... she she, she basically likes that charbroiled taste. So what I can do now is to look for products here on Ali Alibaba, like for example, grill mats. And I saw here a grill mat that actually lets oil drip down. So basically, I'd want to purchase this and then address this particular need over here. Now, one way for me to additionally promote that is to, of course, uh, be involved in uh, marketing programs such as, you know, um, email marketing, a blog posting and stuff like that. I'll create like maybe an uh, a blog post about, you know, um, having the fat not dripping off and you're using like a, a, uh, yeah, a grill mat and then talk about um, the, the, the pros and cons of, you know, oils, uh, cholesterol, and maybe I'll talk about health and then at the end I try to insert this grill mat right over here that's actually that it will actually let oil drip down the grill which is I think really cool and yeah that's basically how you can um try to bridge a gap between you know a need and yeah uh, a need and what's actually there what product is actually there that's needed to be like uh, be known by by other people um like uh like for example, B silver. Oh no, B silvers. Where is that again? Oh yeah, basically that's how I do it with Alibaba. And what else? You can also do influencer out uh, um outreach, you guys. So you do this by you know, um trying to um reach out to influencers to promote your brand. So you can uh, what you don't know, you guys, is uh you can actually put in your branding here on. Uh, uh, Aliexpress. So what you want to do is to chat the seller. So you're going to want to chat the seller and talk about how you can put your branding. Actually, they offer a custom. Uh, yeah, you can offer your branding and so you can put your logo and then put your own branding on their products. So one way for you to create a logo is to like search talents on Fiverr, like maybe search logo and then you can see people that like offer services which makes logos and then what you want to do is to get a logo and after that chat the seller here on aliexpress it maybe hey can you put this to all like the packaging that packaging of the products that you're going to send and they can actually give you that um uh freedom as well and i don't know if it's gonna yeah of course maybe it's gonna cost a bit more but with the cost of like uh, giving your product uh, own branding and logo i think that's gonna be cool because you know when you try to reach out to influencers soon you'll have like um an identity and that people will actually come in and be curious about your product rather than you know um set putting out a product out there with no branding and looks really generic and you know uh, plain. I don't think that's going to appeal to a lot of audience. So one way also to like uh, make money here on Alibaba is their, uh, through their affiliate program. So um, if you want to go to their um, affiliate program, just type in Alibaba affiliate 
and you can see here now that you can join the cloud Alibaba cloud affiliate program so what you can do here is to write blogs and articles that promotes uh, products here on Alibaba maybe work your way around that product but don't make it sound promotional you guys and once um, someone buys using the link that you've put on your article you'll actually get a percentage from Alibaba when you do that but you know um uh writing articles is, is not a joke so you'll have to put in a lot of work for you to be successful in that field but basically that's how you can make money on alibaba you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below or if you've tried any of the ways that i've told you in this video but that's it in this video you guys see you again in the next one peace out